Is it possible to become a millionaire by selling on Amazon? Well, this is exactly what we're gonna be talking about today. I've got three different points that I wanna go through with you so that you can decide for yourself if you, know, if you can become a millionaire or not. But I also want to talk about this word millionaire for a second with you and educate you on it if you allow me. And then we'll go into those three points. Now, before we do, if this is your first time to the channel, welcome, please do, Please do subscribe because we do drop brand new content every single day. And also smash the thumbs up button, maybe do it a little later, but do smash the thumbs up button because it helps the algorithm and it helps the video uh, rank up. So the word millionaire, you know, when I first was introduced to the concept of becoming a millionaire, you know, you've probably heard the saying, um, the average millionaire has seven streams of income. You've probably heard the saying that, um, you know, when you become a millionaire, you, you have more options to do things, although money don't buy happiness, but it definitely buys options. You see, the word millionaire, like when, when I started getting called a millionaire or when people started asking me, here, are you a millionaire, you know? It, I almost started taking offense, you know, because it's like, well, what does what is a millionaire, right? Does that mean you've generated a million dollars? Does that mean you've profited a million dollars? Does that mean you, um, you have a million dollars in the bank. What is that? Is it doesn't mean, you know, your net worth is a million dollars. I've done all those things. And I got to tell you, there's nothing special about it. What's special, however, is the fact that you, with what you have, are able to help other people achieve whatever to them a millionaire means. And to other people, maybe they're not even wanting to become a millionaire. Maybe all they want is just have options. And to me, that's what it is. I'm still wearing a broken watch that doesn't even tell the right time. I'm still wearing a $30 shirt and you know $60 jeans and $40 shoes, right? So my lifestyle hasn't exactly changed from, say, when I used to make $5,000 a month to where last month we did a little over $1.2 million in revenue. So, you know, it, it just that concept, really you have to define exactly what that means. But if you are wondering if you can make money with Amazon and maybe make a million dollars, maybe that's your goal in life. And if that's your goal in life, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. And you could do whatever, you should do whatever you want to accomplish it. So let's go into it. The first thing that I wanna talk about is time. If you wanna start an Amazon business, say you start private label or drop shipping on Amazon or whatever, arbitrage, whatever, the con it doesn't matter what the concept is, at the end of the day, this is a business, right? So say you've got a job and then you're doing, I don't know, uh, say you're doing about 10, uh, well, not 10, that, that, that's not even a thing. Say you're doing 40 hours per week working your job and then maybe you've got a family and then you spend you know, another uh, um, two hours per, per day. So say that's another 14 hours per week. Now we're at 54, sleeping, showering, all that stuff. Say it comes down to about you know, 100, 120 hours per week. Well, you can understand that the week has 168 hours. So you still have, you could still technically work a full-time job and be able to do it. Understand, this is a business. The more you put into it, the more you get out of it. On average or minimum, you should be investing in an Amazon business is a minimum of 10 to 15 hours per week. Okay, so that's the, that's the, literally the bare minimum. Like if you don't even, and it's not about if you don't have it. I know you have it. Like, Unless you're working 120 hours per week and you you have a family and you go to the gym, then maybe you don't. But unless you're doing that, because I know I've done that and I was still able to do something else on the side. So 10 to 15 hours per week are sufficient, but do understand if you put in more, if you put in 20, 25 hours, you can just get the result faster. You know what I mean? So again, 10 to, 20, 10 to 15 hours per week is minimum. You know, like you shouldn't even do anything unless you do that, right? Now, the second thing is money, right? So that's a, that's a big thing, not just to start an Amazon business, but to start any business, right? Well, how much, now there's two questions that you should ask yourself. Number one, what is the minimum amount that I need to invest in an Amazon business for me to even start the business? Number two is, if you wanna become a millionaire from Amazon, how much do I need to invest to become a millionaire? Now, the, uh, the, you know, the first, I'll answer the first question because the second question is a little, little longer, right? So the first question is, I would say a minimum of three to 5,000, right? If you're gonna do it on your own, which I don't suggest. Now, if you're gonna hire someone like BJK University, you should have at least six, five, six thousand dollars $6,000. So it just depends. We're just gonna put both numbers here. We're gonna say 3K 
Uh oh, my thing is, uh, so 3K alone, um, you know, I'd say 3 to 5K actually. So 3 to 5K alone, because this also, like, you have room here for mistakes, right? Like, because you might launch one product and then it might fail, and then, like, so this is room for, like, a couple products, and then I would say, like, 5 to 6K if you do it with a coach, with coach, right? Let's just say with BJK, right? Okay, so this is to start. So this is just for you to start, right? Now, the question is, what if I wanna become a millionaire? Well, again, that is a little bit of a bigger question because the, the, the thing that you have to think about is how long do you want to become, you know, make a million dollars? Let's just not, let's just say make a million dollars. How long do you want to make a million dollars in? Now, if you're, if you're like, well, I wanna make a million dollars next month, that's crazy. It's probably not gonna happen. If you wanna make a million dollars in 12 months, that's still a stretch because you need a lot of money to invest. Not saying you can't, but you, you need a lot of money to invest. If you want to make $1 million in 12 months, you need a minimum of $50,000. Minimum. Probably even more than that, but a minimum of fifty dollars to $75,000 to make $1 million in revenue in 12 months. Now, no, I don't think anybody goes into business to make a $1 million in 12 months. Do understand, the average traditional business requires fifty dollars to $200,000 to get started, will go two years without a penny in profit, and 80% of them will fail before they even get to, to year number two, right? So what's more reasonable is making $1 million in revenue in about 24 to 36 months. So let's just say that's the goal, right? So 24 to 36 months. And that's on average, BJK University student will make $1 million in revenue from Amazon in about 12 to, uh, in about, We've had students do it in like 12 months, but on average, you know, that's like above average. It's just like, uh, you know, like once in a hundred case or something like that. But on average, like a good thing is 20, 24 to 36 months, so two to three years, making $1 million in revenue, right? And and that would be, you know, investing a minimum of, of 10K, right? And then what you're going to do is you're going to simply take that money and then you're going to keep reinvesting it and reinvesting it and reinvesting it, right? So do understand, again, this is a business. This is not a get rich quick, you know? And maybe this video is not going to be very favored in on, on YouTube because I'm probably not telling you, you know, you probably don't see a lot of people telling you like the harsh truth. You know, like these numbers, you're probably like, wait a second, really? Like it's going to take that long and I need that much and I need to invest this many hours? Yeah, because it's a real business. Other gurus out there are telling you, no, you, you know, with $2,000, you can probably make a million bucks in six months. That's insane. I've never heard about that. If someone could do that, please call me because I will give them like 200,000 to do that, you know? So again, this is the reality, right? Now, the question for you is, if you're like, well, Bashar, yeah, that's, that's fine. I mean, that sounds good. I'm a reasonable person. I wanna do that. Great, that's awesome. We're both on the same page. But if you're the other person that's like, well, but Bashar, this sounds like a lot of work and a lot of money and a lot of time. Well, let me ask you this. If you stay doing exactly what you're doing right now, how long is it gonna take for you to make a million dollars, right? Um, say you're working a nine to five and say you're in the six figures, right? And you're making uh, $100,000 per year or $120,000 per year pre-tax, after tax, probably like 80 or 90,000, about $120,000. Well, how long is it gonna take for you to generate $1 million? I mean, just do the math. Let's just round it down to 100,000. That means it's gonna take you 10 years to generate $100, uh, $1 million. Where here, it could take you three years. Say even if it's five years. Even if, it's, even if it takes you five years to generate $1 million, that's still half the time that it would take you to do it working your job, right? And I'm pretty sure a lot of you that are watching this video are probably not making six figures per year, right? And those of you that are, that are great. Even if you do it in five years, it's still half of the time that you would do it working your job. That's number one. Number two, you'll actually be running your own business where a decent chunk of you watching this video probably hate doing your job and just wanna do something else. Right? So those are the things that you have to think about. And although I'm telling you the harsh truth here, but it's like, well, but what if I keep doing what I'm doing right now? And if someone promised you something else on the internet, then go do it. But three years from now, if you come back to this video 
and you have only made $10,000 or maybe lost $10,000, and this video will probably still be on YouTube, but the opportunity will not be here, right? The opportunity of the bus, would, the train would definitely have passed you. So anyways, look, if you're finding you know, value in this video, and if you like someone to tell you it's how it is, tell you the harsh truth, please smash that subscribe button, and please also uh, um, smash that thumbs up button. So let's go into potential. So that's the other thing. And I think I kind of covered it here, but I really want to go deep down and break down potential for you. Now, before I do, if you are interested in this, if this sounds cool to you and you're like, okay, I'm down, I'll go two years, I'll go three years to make a million bucks, that's fine, whatever I'm doing right now, it's not gonna get me there anyways. Um, click the link in the description, it'll take you to a short presentation where we teach you exactly what we do, and then you'll get a chance to apply to get on a free one-on-one um, call with one of our enrollment advisors where they can answer your questions and really figure out if our system is right for you. So be sure to click that. So let's go into number three here. Number three is potential. What is the potential, right? And then I kind of covered it here and I kind of showed you what it is, but on average, the BJK University student, uh, so we have, I mean, you can go to BJK University forward slash testimonials and then check out some of our students' testimonials. But um, we have, for instance, uh, and then in that workshop that I was telling you about, Earlier, uh, I also mentioned a few of them. Uh, Ivan Gorgis, who um, started June of 2020. No, he started in March of 2020. Yeah, it was right before quarantine, February, or March of 2020. In June of 2020, he launched his first product. From June until from June 2020 until June. June or July 2021, because I recently did an interview with him, it might be the, even on the YouTube channel, um, he generated $231,000. So $231,000 K, uh, 31K in 12 months, right? So $231K in 12 months. Um, now this is his first year, and he invested, I think, about $8,000. I wanna say 8,000, I think, I'm not sure. He invested, I want to say, six to eight K. Okay, this is kind of around how much he invested. I think in the workshop I actually break down how much he really invested. Um, so six to eight K, he made 230,000. And he said, according to him, 80% of those sales came from one product. And then, there, you know, and then because he launched one product, did very good. And then he was just kind of like reinvesting the money. And then after that, he launched two more products, right? So 80% of this came from one product. Now. If the first year he did that much with six to eight K, imagine what he could do the second year with generating 200, having generated 230,000. At 230,000, his net profit that year should have been, um, I think he said it was like 28%. I'm not good at math, so you just do the math, but let's just round it up, 200 K. Uh, so 100,000 is 20, 40, about like, about like 60 K, between 50 to 60 K. So his net profit that first year was about 50 to 60K out of the 231K, right? Those of you that are probably like, well, this is, this is revenue. This is not profit. Sure, 50 to 60K. Um, he turned, even if he turned, even if he turned 10K into 50K, that's a six, that's a 5X ROI in year one, right? Now, can you imagine if he can double that in year two? So he would generate 500,000 in year two and make about $100,000 in, in, in revenue. And then if he could, again, maybe double that in year three and maybe make a million dollars in year three. So now 36 months later, he would have made 1.731 1. Uh, because he would have made 500K year two and then 231 year one, right? So 1.731 would be, uh, his revenue after having been doing this for three years. And then his investment was six to eight K, his initial investment, obviously, right? Now you do understand, it's very possible that until year three, he probably would have not pulled anything. I think he said he was pulling like five to 10% every single month just to kind of keep some money in his pocket. And so that he feels like, you know, this is working and I'm actually progressing. Like my life is, is you know, like, this is like the fruit of my labor, right? Like, I think it's important to keep reinvesting back in your business but I think it's also important for you to like, feel like what you're doing is actually paying off and it's paying you. So it's cool to pull some, some profits just to hear like maybe go out on a nice dinner per month or something like that, but it's not cool to suck your business dry. So again, 
This is what it is, what it takes to start an Amazon business and whether or not we can become a millionaire, obviously can make a million dollars. It's not gonna be six months, it'll be probably 18 to 24 to potentially 36 months. But again, if you feel like that's too long, well then ask yourself, how are you gonna get there doing exactly what you're doing today, how long it'll take you, right? So if you loved this video and you want to work with us or find out how working with us looks like, click the link in the description, watch the presentation, from there, book a call. I'll see you on the other side. Cheers.